all right um youtubers is yet another day and then um today we are going to um uh, learn how to install this um in lab some um, facebook auto post um marketing tool and i remember someone requested for this tutorial can i quite remember if it is not soft tech i believe yeah soft tech but i also dedicate this video to one of my female students online by who goes by the name carolyn she's doing very well from kenya um, I'm very happy for a young girl at her age to be learning this because I don't actually have people within me here who are ladies and are interested in um, learning most of these things. I'm happy for her and then I dedicate this video to her. So Carolyn, this video is being dedicated to you and Softech for asking how to um, go about the installation of this um, um, application. So I have it right here installed on my system. First of all, let me log in. And then um, we see how the system is before I guide you through how to install the system locally on your machine. So as you can see the interface, everything is working cool. We have logged in and then we have so many things here to run. Uh, you have the ad administration area settings here. If you go there, you can do most of your settings and other things and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm talking about. So you need to configure your Facebook API and other information so let's get started on how to install this software so as we always do you know um, I've already created um, a database that is going to host um, this application on my new installation and the database is init FB auto post and then the same way is my folder name so my folder name goes the same way so um, I'm just going to use um, the same details in installing um, my application so I'll redirect to um, my login page and then I have um init FB auto post and I'll hit on the enter key and then that will load the installation page for me to start with my installation process so let's wait for the page to load it's it's taking a while to load all right so here we are with the installation page and then the first requirements is um checking your system to make sure that um, your system is compatible to run this application and as you can see all settings are okay and then i don't have any problem so i hit on the next button and the next button comes with a purchase code here you have to enter a purchase code before you can proceed and you know this just their new release so i have to provide purchase code for this installation so students here i provide a purchase key for installation all right, so I've entered the purchase key and then um, <coughs> we are good to go by hitting on the next button. And students, sorry if you're not seeing the purchase code, but um, for privacy sake and for their new release sake, I don't actually want to reveal the purchase key, but I hope um, we will find a way of um, working things out to have this software to use on your system. After their second release, I will find a way of bypassing um, the purchase code for you to be able to use it. But for now, let's stick with the purchase code. And remember, this is for educational purpose, but not commercial use. So I'll hit on the next button to proceed to my next button. So we are hitting on the next button. So it's cross-checking to make sure that the purchase key is all right before it takes me to my next page, which is what the permission page. So let's wait for it to finish checking the purchase key and if everything is okay they will move to the permission um, page and here we are on our permission page that everything is okay we had no problems and then here we're only encountering one problem and then uh, this is some um, the file but we have no problem with that because um, they're saying it's not um, read and writable but um, they will create a new file to um, upload um, um, the settings on it so don't worry about it so we hit on the next button all right so here we are required to um um, enter our database details so the first thing we need to do is to select our database type which is uh, my SQL then my host is local host I have local host and my database is in it FB auto post so I just copy it from my URL then I'll paste it on uh, my database and then my username which is um, um the username I'll be using this time I'm going to use Avanash with the password um, pandic 006 because in labs always required you to use um, a secure login which is um, a database username with a password so I can use root only without a password so we have it and then database port is optional so please I'll leave it blank and then I'll proceed to the next stage which is um site settings so if the database connection is able to go through then we move to our site settings database is able to go through so we move by giving our site a name which is the virus systems and then the email is the virus systems at gmail and copyright information we have um copyright 
and then our term cc the virus systems now here we are supposed to enter our facebook api settings if we mean to stop here and create a facebook um, api is going to take us a long day um, i'll just proceed with um, a sample key and a secret key that we can use for the installation and then after that we can create our api key and replace it with um, our system so that we can have a working api key so i'll just enter anything at all here as the api key and something here as a secret key and as you know then my time zone then i'll select my time zone and um, we proceed to the next page which is um, um admin user info so if everything seems okay here then it moves me to my next stage which is where the admin user info so let's wait for it to move to that page all right our site settings is configured all right and here we are required to enter admin user info so admin user info first name we have uriah second name we have avinash and login name we have avinash and then email address you know the email address avinash at gmail and the password is entered already so i'll select the same thing to load in my password so password and then we hit on the next button and that takes us to the finished page where our installation is done and then we are required to click on the finish to log in so we have congratulations completed installation process so we click on finish and then we will be redirected to our login page where we can enter our credentials to log into our system to access what we have installed so now here we have our in-labs logo and then um, we have um, um, our password so um we are supposed to log in and then um to um get started with our software so i'll select my email address and then i'll select uh, my password and then hit on the login button so it's logging in all right so welcome back something happened at the background which um i'm not showing it to you but um now um let's access the administrative area to see what happens if i hit on administrative settings see what is going to happen you see they are telling that this facility is not available in demo mode right so this is what i'll be giving to you uh when you ask me for this software because this is for training purpose so you can access every feature on the software except the settings aspect of it so i'm going to come to the phase two of it where i can unlock it and show you how to do the settings of the administrative area so i'll be welcoming you back and show you how to set up the administrative area to upload your logo and everything on the system all right so welcome back and then now let's access our administrative area to see whether we can do that or not then i'll show you how to do the settings for administrative area and then um we are done with the installation process so i'll hit on um administration settings and then that is going to open my settings page for me to show you how to set up your application so right now you have to upload a logo so i'll browse to my logo area and then on my desktop i have my, my simple logo there that i've been using for this tutorial so logo medium and that's the logo and then i have um side uh um your side website so i have um http the virus um system dot tk which is on my website then i hit on the update button and then it updates um my system for me so my logo runs through my system and then i'm cool with that so now we move to what authentication um area so reset token key we have two maximum attempts we have two lock time we have this then forget password yes um people should be able to access that page and so forth and so on remember me yes remember me then registration do you want to allow people to be able to register to the system yes do you want them to be able to read your terms and conditions if yes or no you enable do you want them to receive an email confirmation if yes if no then you turn on then notification do you want admin to no, to be notified on any sign up if you want you hit on yes and update and then social authentication do you want to allow people to be able to use their social media um, accounts to log into this system if yes you enable it then we have our facebook api here that later on will be creating one to replace with um the trial one that we have used early on so that is a system running on my system on a, my local pc and remember what i told you this is only for educational purpose so if you ask me for this software i'm going to send you the one with the demo version so you can have a feel of it right and that is what i can do for now until their next release please i can give you this software for free for um, um security reasons and then i don't want to be sued is that okay so because I, I i don't have money to pay so for now 
for security reasons i will not be sharing this full software with you or i will not show you how to bypass certain things in this software so for now let's keep it and then you can collect this for learning purpose until your next release please stay in touch and if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos comments and share my videos because someone is sitting somewhere ready to learn so the slogan goes invite two people ask those two people to invite another two people and tell them to keep on inviting two people to keep on subscribing to this channel and the chain keeps on growing like that so i wish you all the best stay tuned for our next tutorial on how to set up um a decent facebook api account for our facebook auto sorry our in-lapped facebook um, auto post um, application so thank you for now